The new nurse-to-patient model proposed for BC helped seal a tentative deal between the BC Nurses Union and the province. These standards of nurse-to-patient ratios are already being used in Australia and California. It's a relief for nurses who have been leaving the profession due to burnout. Now we will have a standard minimum and uh, based on that we will know how much staff needs to be on each unit. Right now, because of the shortages, uh, they are seeing increased numbers of patients, so you could have one nurse to eight patients. So what will it look like? Nurse to patient ratios are still being developed for community and long-term care. So far for hospitals, they're one to one for critical care patients, one nurse for every two mental health patients, one to three for specialized care patients, and one to four for palliative care patients. Health Minister Adrian Dix says the new nurse to patient model will help retain and recruit nurses. This is the place in the world, but especially in North America, that nurses want to come and work. Nurses across Canada have been lobbying for the change for 20 years, according to their national union. BC Liberal health critic MLA Shirley Bond questions how the model will work in rural communities that have been struggling with staffing shortages. But with that needs to come the details, the resources, and a timeline so nurses, uh, wherever they work in British Columbia, have a sense of hope about what the future looks like. It's unclear exactly what will happen if those ratios aren't met. The tentative deal still needs to be ratified, and that could happen on April 20th. The new contract also includes more mental health supports and higher wages. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.